Hello there, Graham here again. Today I'd like to talk about the worst bit of trim advice you could possibly hear. It's definitely not gooder. And that advice is arch your back to maintain trim. It's a horrible piece of advice. And if you want to do super cool dives like we can see our man Steph over here at 80 metres in the Mediterranean off Finale Liguri, you'll want to get your trim sorted out. So let's have a closer look at this. We just saw Steph in the last slide looking super cool, flat and relaxed. And that's what we're aiming for. That way we can look at the fish and the super cool wreck and we don't have to look at all the squidgy stuff on the bottom. Now we can see our poor diver looking at squidgy stuff on the bottom. We can see they've got an arch back. An arch back is going to lead to a lack of awesomeness. and Nobody wants that. You're going to swim around looking at squidgy stuff when you could be enjoying awesome wrecks or caves, if you're that way inclined. So now I've superimposed our diver's spine onto the graphic. You can see over there a picture of the spine. Your spine actually naturally curves, so arching the back is a bit of a funny thing to say anyway. But here we can see the divers overarch their back and they're going to feel loads of tension in their lumbar spine. That overextension is going to be uncomfortable for anything but the shortest amount of time. A few minutes, twiddling a knob in a quarry you might be able to manage. But if you want to do this long term, and going back to our first slide, Steph at 80 metres, we're certainly not going to be able to get out of the water in 40 minutes unless we've got silly V-shaped profile. Nobody wants V-shaped profiles in their life. Arching your back is going to put pressure upwards into the tanks. So that's going to bring your head up in our trim position. Bringing the head up is a symptom for those divers who've actually got head down trim and are trying to force it. You can imagine walking around like this all the time wouldn't be very comfortable and equally it's not comfortable underwater. So we actually want to be balanced so that we can hold a comfortable relaxed trim position and then we can be, as I said before, awesome. So now we come to a more neutral spine position shown in the graphic. And this is more aligned to what we saw in the first photo. We can think of this as a long, lazy trim with the diver actually laying on the water and being super comfortable and relaxed. This long, lazy lying on the water has worked very well for me up to about seven, seven and a half hours of dive time. That's more than enough for me for now, and it certainly gets me out of that V-shaped territory. So how are we going to achieve this trim position? That's the important thing. As I said before, we want to avoid this worse or a piece of trim advice, which is arching your back. You definitely don't want to do that. Actually, what you want to do is engage your core and lock your spine into a neutral position. Some deadlifts or squats will help you dramatically to improve your diving. But even so, you should be able to engage your spine into a neutral position, excluding, of course, the cervical spine, which is what causes your neck to go up and down. So when you're in this braced neutral position, what muscle groups are you engaging and what body tension should you feel in your body? We can see the two little arrows in the diagram. One is pointing to the lumbar spine, the lower part of your spine. And here we should see a natural curve. We don't want that overextension that is the worst piece of trim advice. The second is pointing to your thoracic spine. And again, we want that natural curve in our thoracic spine. No overarching or hunching forward. Unfortunately, a lot of people spend a lot of time sitting down. And this tends to lead to a rounding of the spine. It's something called lordosis, which sounds pretty cool tends to be a rounded upper back, your butt stuck out, and a little bit of tension there in your lower back. I think this is where this worst piece of trim advice comes from, because if you are somebody who's been rolled over at their desk job all the time to have a neutral spine, they actually feel a little bit of tension in their lower back. That's not arching, that's just working the muscles in your lower back that you've let relax from all that hunching over. So try to avoid that. Again, squats and deadlifts are really going to help with your core strength and improving your trim in the water. So let's recap. You should have a neutral lumbar spine and a neutral thoracic spine. And you want to brace those by engaging your core. 
How you do this, or one cue to help you think about doing this, is to pull your belly button in towards your spine. You should then feel your abs and all your core muscles engage. Now you're going to want to engage your posterior chain. And that's what those arrows are pointing towards. What is your posterior chain? It's all the chain of muscles on the back side of your body. Interestingly, this is your anterior, and that down the back is your posterior. That's not your anterior, the top of your head. That's the top of your head. Your posterior chain is your lower back muscles, your butt, and your hamstrings. So when you've got all of those engaged and tight, you're going to have a nice solid base off which you can balance your tanks and achieve that nice neutral trim position, which leads to epicness on long dives, not backache, and not crawling out of the water in pain. So just to recap, brace a neutral thoracic and lumbar spine by engaging your core, then engage your posterior chain, your lower back muscles, your butt and your hamstring. And the last piece of the puzzle would be what to do with your cervical spine, your neck and your chest. So rolled forward actually makes it very difficult to look at wind diving. So roll forward and we can barely get our head back. Bring our shoulder blade together. We can feel the core engaging. Now we've got full extension of our neck. Now I can easily look upwards. That means if I rotate by 90 degrees into a diving position, I'll be looking forward and I can see all the cool wrecks and stuff. It's a pretty uncomfortable position if I'm honest, and it takes a while to build up the muscle strength and getting used to that. But I don't feel any pain in my lower back, only in my neck, because that is the only part of my spine which is out of this neutral braced position. So I really hope you found this useful. This will definitely increase your awesomeness on diving, which is what everybody wants to do. Even if you just want to twiddle lobs and quarries, this will definitely make your life easier. Fix the basics first, and then you can build, build, build in your diving, and you too can end up doing super cool dives like this 80 to 90 meter dive in Finale Liguri in the Med. So, no matter where you are on the diving capacity ladder, not arching your back will definitely help you on your diving. Sometimes it's a little bit misunderstood and I think the arching your back comes from the tension that people feel if they're not used to having a neutral spine. But definitely, definitely don't arch your back if you want to be awesome. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for listening. And please comment, like and woo! subscribe. <laughs>